Uy. <laughs> you're the one that I want. You're the one I want. Listen, calm the fuck mm. down. You're gonna hurt yourself, please. Charlie. Mm. Charlie! Mm. Take it easy. It's fine. We're not gonna hurt you. We love you. I can't believe you're here. I've dreamt my flow. Focus. Mm. Fuck. You mm. shut the fuck up. If you make any noise, I swear I will. Do you think it's. Miley, go upstairs and see who it is. And don't answer, just see who it is. Okay. Don't hurt him. You don't make a sound. Flo, get the tape. I'm sorry. Flo, Lottie, come here now. Who is it? Lottie, I think it's the police. Fuck. What do I do? Hello. Everything okay? Good afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. Doorbell not working. Oh, no, sorry, I was just asleep. Is there a problem? I'm Inspector Jeffries, and this is Sergeant John. Charlotte Cooper, is that right? Oh, no, that's my housemate Lottie. I'm Miley. Miley Killer. Keller, sorry. Oh, yes, quite right, Miley. Can we come in? Oh, of course. Sorry. Do you want a cup of tea or anything? Uh, no, thank you. Yeah. Well, I've heard well if you got one. I mean, no, thank you, I'm fine. Sorry, miss. Now it also says there's a young lady by the name of Florence Hannigan living here as well. Oh yeah, that's Flo. But are they here? Oh, um, yes. Would you mind getting them for us? Of course. Sorry. Sorry. Guys. Arresting us. No, we can't just stand here. You guys need to come. They're asking for you. Wait. <laughs> guys, what the fuck do we do? We're fucked. Oh, I knew I never should have listened to you. Shut, Shut it up, Flo. That's not helping. And don't come crying to me now. You wet your pants at the idea of kidnapping Charlie. I did no. not wet my pants. We all need to calm down. We can't turn on each other now. You're right. That's what they want us to do. We need to keep it in the family. Make them an offer they can't refuse. What are you on about? Like in that film. Make them an offer they can't refuse. I don't see how that relates to our situation. And was that supposed to be Marlon Brando? Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Wait. Look at this. Sergeant John. Sorry, sir. Guys, we have to go talk to them. But what do we say? need to calm down, okay? They might not know anything. Act cool and play it by ear, okay? Okay. Come on, then. Hello. Hi. Ah, hi there, girls. I'm Inspector Jeffries, and this is Sergeant John. And you might be... I'm Lottie, and this is Flo. Uh, Florence Hannigan and Charlotte Cooper. Yep, I think you got that. Ah. So, girls, should we take a seat? Sergeant John, would you do the honour? Of course, sir. So, 
three nights ago, a young man by the name of Charles Sawyer McKinnon, commonly known as Charlie McKinnon, I'm sure you've heard of him. I recognise the name. Vaguely. I think so. Right. So, he's a very famous singer. And he's been missing since Friday last week. And he was last seen with three young women leaving a central London club by the name of Mahaka. Mahiki. Mahiki. There is photographic evidence of this. However, distinguishing the women's faces has proven very difficult. And they were also, according to the Mahiki staff, not regular visitors to the club. I'm sorry, but how does this relate to us? Well, because the young Mr. McKinnon is such a prolific character, the demand for his return has been quite overwhelming. And therefore, a public helpline has been set up. I am aware of the fact the young Mr. McKinnon is an attractive... <coughs> is an attractive young man in the public eye. And therefore, all the tips we receive are to be taken with a pinch of salt. Basically what my colleague's trying Sergeant to Sergeant John, please. Sorry. Like I was saying, it's all to be taken with a pinch of salt. Mr. McKinnon's management team have offered a large sum of money to whoever knows of his whereabouts. And yes, it seems a Mrs. Featherwell from right over the road says she saw him coming in here early Saturday morning. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, we had someone calling in saying they'd seen him in Luton last Friday afternoon, which isn't just highly unlikely that a man of Charlie McKinnon's calibre would be anywhere near Luton, but also completely false, as it was before the young man went missing. But it doesn't mean we don't have to look into every single lead we get. If you ask me, I think the poor bloke is just taking a well-deserved break. <laughs> Just seeing the frenzy of him gone, I can't imagine what it must be for him like when he's here. So any thoughts, girls? Uh, oh! It must have been Tristan that she saw. Mrs. Featherwell, I mean. <laughs> Who's Tristan? Not his boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. You want him to be. Sorry. Who is this? Tristan Banks. He used to go out with Lottie, so he was around quite a lot. It was probably him that Mrs. Featherwell saw. Miley, I don't think... Was he here early Saturday morning? Yes. Is that true, Miss Cooper? Yes. Oh. All right then. Any chance we can meet the young man? Of course, it could have been Josh as well, couldn't it, Miley? What? Josh is Miley's boyfriend, so he's around here a lot. As okay, well. he's <laughs> not my boyfriend. Well, that depends on. Ladies, I'm not here to interrogate you and your relationship status. However... So you've got a boyfriend? No, he's not. All right, Miles, I don't think we have to be strict about labels here, Miles. He's a guy who comes round here a lot. That's what matters, isn't it, officer? It's inspector. But yes, quite right. Wait a minute. Are we saying it could be either of the two guys that you two are seeing? Is that right, girls? Yes. Yes. Well... It could have been Spencer as well. Who's Spencer? You know Spencer. Spence! He's the guy that I'm seeing. You're not seeing anyone. Maybe I am. In fact, I am. I just haven't told you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, this... Spencer was here as well on Saturday morning. You mean this Saturday? As in the Saturday that, that just was? Yes. This Saturday. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> now when I'm thinking about it, I think it was the week before. <laughs> last... Yeah, so not this Saturday. Sorry. Is there anyone else here? No. Just a cat. She's probably rummaging round in the basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 So no Spencer. But a Mr. Banks and a Mr. Wright. Um, Joshua Wright, isn't it, Miley? Yes, Joshua Wright. Oh. Right then. Any chance we can meet the young men? They're, they're away, aren't they? They're, yes, they're away. Tristan is in America visiting his family. He left on Sunday. That's why he was here on Saturday to say goodbye. 
Shame. And your guy? Oh, he he's in Turkey and he's got family there that he's off visiting, so... Yeah. International boys, huh? <laughs> hmm. But if you write down their contact details, we'll make sure to speak to Mr Banks and Mr Wright. Sure. Should we speak to this Spencer fellow too? No, no, no. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Yeah. Don't happen to have a picture of these chaps, do you? So we can show Mrs Featherwell, get her to identify them, and get this over and done with? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, we just have to take their contact details and get this sorted out later. We want to eliminate all false tips as soon as possible. Of course. Well, thanks for taking the time now, ladies. You have a good day now. That's a very loud cat you've got there. <laughs> She's a wild one. Yeah. <laughs> what breed is it? A Burma. A Burma? Yeah. Burmese. Oh, yeah. that is a beautiful breed, Burma. What's his name? A princess. Her name's Princess. Well, if you've got everything you need, yeah. then... Well, take care of yourselves now, girls. Cheers, girls. Good luck with the investigation. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um. All right, we're not really supposed to do this, but um, George, I mean, Inspector Jeffrey, sorry, says that it's, it's, it's okay since you're not actual suspects, and um, I've been going through a bit of it. Can I have your number? Me? For what? Well, we can go cinema or... She'd love to. Go on. Right. It's 077-134-89-392. Okay. Um, it's nice to see you again. Likewise. Bye. What the fuck? We're not actual suspects. And <laughs> this way, you can keep an eye on them and know what's up. Why does no one ever ask for my number oh, there? But why did you have to say it could be Tristan? Now I have to call him up before they do and make up some excuse. What? I thought it was a great explanation. Miley, Tristan's black. There's no way anyone would mistake him for Charlie McKinnon. Well, I just thought... And anyway, I'm sure Mrs. Featherwell's eyesight isn't very good. And who the fuck is Spencer? <laughs> I'm a Burma cat princess. <laughs> Charlie. What did I say? Don't make a fucking sound and we won't hurt mm. you. Lottie, please. Mm. Lottie, calm mm. down. Calm down? Mm. Yes. He could have escaped. Yeah, but he didn't, did he? Yeah, well, he's going to if I don't do something. Well, don't do that. Well, then what are you going to do? I'm going to do something. Go! Go, we just have a nice evening together. It's been a really stressful day. <laughs> <laughs> Have some ice cream. This film is ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Can <laughs> I go home? We're watching the film. <laughs> <laughs>